Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Tech. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most important things inside any computer, and it's also one of the things what a lot of people forget, especially people who make their own custom-built PC, and that is thermal paste. Yes, a lot of people forget thermal paste, and. Today we're going to be looking at the new MX5 thermal paste from Arctic. The MX4 is probably one of the leading thermal pastes on the market and now we've got the MX5. So what we're going to do is compare it against the MX4 as well as some other paste just to see what sort of difference you will get cooling wise. If you're interested in this product make sure you click that link in the description just below and help support the channel. Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favour, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well, and that way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel, and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos, and more content exclusively just for you. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the MX-5 in front of us, and as you can see, we've got five different tubes. They're basically all different grammage. So you've got two grams, we've got four, we've got eight, 20, and 50 grams there. So it gives you a rough idea. There are lots of different sizes. The tube we've got out is the one out of this package, which is the 20 gram version, but it gives you an idea what it actually looks like. MX-5 is replacing the MX4. Well, I think it's replacing it. They might still carry on selling both. The predecessor, the MX4, they had a celebration about two years ago for selling over 10 million units of it. So it gives you a rough idea how popular it actually is. Just to give you an idea, this is an old 50 gram bottle of the MX4. We ain't got the stopper on the end, but just to give you a comparison of what it looks like. And, well, it's basically the same thing, uh, but a different packaging. But we're going to show you the difference in the paste in a few seconds and show you why it is different. And then do, obviously, some performance tests to tell you about the difference. So let's have a look at the box. They're all basically the same, it's just going to be obviously the size of the boxes and obviously the amount which is in each box which is going to make it different. But there you go. So you can see the front of the box there. On one side you've got a few different languages which are English so I'm not going to concentrate too much on those. On this side here you do have a few other languages including English. It's English. It says high performance thermal paste or thermal compound depending on what you want to call it. I usually call it paste but it says high efficiency. It's suitable for gamers and overclockers. It's non-conducting and non-capacitive. Non-conducting basically means that there are some pastes out there which are basically made out of silver. And if you get that on components, it can actually short them out. Because this is non-conducting, if you do put too much paste on your CPU, which a lot of people do, and it gets all over the place, you shouldn't damage anything, or at least very little regarding conducting stuff anyway. So that gives you a rough idea of the box. On the back, it does tell you about uh, secure usage, uh, easy application, outstanding results as well. So can use it on CPUs, GPUs, semiconductor components and stuff like that. Anything you use thermal paste or pads on, you can pretty much use this. It's also got a scan there for more product details as well. Uh, Arctic don't tend to put um, much in the way of manuals in the boxes. They use QR codes mainly, which is good because it helps save the environment. It also saves them money. And also you are always getting the latest updated version of the manual because when you scan that, it will take you to the latest manual if they've had to edit anything. Let's have a look at the tube itself. Again, they're all the size, just uh, the same, just different sizes. Uh, so you've got the MX-5 thermal compound. It tells you the, what it is. It's got the web uh, website and then it's got a code there and you've got little cutout holes there where you can see how much is actually left in the syringe. To use it, you just unscrew the cap on the end. There we go, can be a bit tight. 
and then you just squirt it on your processor. I'm just going to squirt this on a piece of plastic, actually plain paper, just to get you an idea of what it actually looks like. So let's just squirt a little bit. And it does seem to have sort of a blue texture. I'm pretty sure it normally, or the MX4 at least, is more of a silver looking texture to it. Um, looks more like the, the silver, um, as I was mentioning before. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that's got more of a, a grey silver look to it, where the new paste has actually got sort of a, a very light blue um, colour to it, and yeah, not far off turquoisey colour uh, to it, so that's an interesting one. It also seems, obviously without doing too much with it, uh, it seems to be possibly a bit thinner, is it? Let's have a look, that's quite thick and stringy, is probably the best way of putting it. And if we spread that out, it seems to spread easier, but it seems to be thicker in a way, it's a strange way of putting it, um, but it seems to spread easier, um, but it doesn't go as streaky as the silver one on the MX-4. But we'll test this out and see how it is, and we're going to obviously put this on a CPU and see what sort of temperatures we get differences, if there's much of a difference at all. Okay, so all testing was done on the same machine. In basics, the processor was a 10700K Intel i7 processor. The cooler we used was the Arctic Freezer 7X. The reason we decided to go for more of a low-end cooler is because we want to show the difference between the thermal paste and not a high-end cooler. We set the fan speed to 50%, so it was constantly running at that speed, so it didn't automatically speed itself up or slow itself down, depending on how hot the CPU was. Hence, we have got some hot temperatures, but that then shows us what the true difference is between the pastes. Okay, so from the test results, you can probably see here the Arctic MX-5 came in at 76 degrees on the nose, where the MX-4, which it's replacing, came in at 76.8. And it's only 0.8 of a degree, but every little counts. But comparing it to the Be Quiet, DC-1, the Xilence X-5, the Akasa 455, and even some included cooler master paste we got bundled in with another cooler, you can see there is a big difference, especially when you go from the Arctic MX-5 all the way up to the Cooler Master, there's nearly a 4 degree difference. You might think 4 degrees is not a lot, but in cooling computer components, every degree counts. Running any computer component cooler will make it last longer. That's the basics of electronics. The cooler it is, within a degree, is going to make it last longer. But not only that, it will also stop it what's called thermal throttling. That's when the component gets too hot and it slows itself down so it doesn't overheat. So if you can keep it cooler, that means that it can run as fast as it can for longer without slowing itself down. So that's a bonus on top so the new thermal paste while it's not been revolutionary where it's going to cool your machine down by half the temperature and so forth it is an improvement over the last one and the last one was pretty good as it is anyway so you're basically getting more for your money or better cooling for your money because the price is practically the same as before as well so i can't do anything but highly recommend this product Thank you for watching this video everyone, it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.